How's everyone doing? It's CWK here, and today I'm going to be doing a a quick breakout uh, challenge in Java, like to see how fast I can realistically program breakout or brick breaker in Java. Now, I already did something like this for my AP Computer Science Principles Performance Task, but I'm going to be trying to maybe like walk myself through it and do it without any internet help. And that even includes using the resources, so I'll have to make my own. But they'll be basic, I assure you of that. <laughs> Alright, so uh let's just let's call this one brick breaker. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make uh package com the my name. I can't type right now, I'm not gonna go super fast with my typing. Uh I'm not going to use my library either, so I'll have to make everything from scratch. Implements runnable uh, public game and with title. Actually, I already know the title, so I don't need to pass that in. Make the main. Come on, there we go. Uh, new game. Twelve AD seven twenty. Actually, no, this needs to be. 800, 800. Most of my games I do make in 720p. I will make a private window. Window. Uh, this that window. This new window. 800. No, sorry. Width, height, brick breaker. Very fast. And then pass this in. And then do uh, this dot start private synchronize void start private synchronized void stop. Uh, make a couple of booleans here. I guess we'll do them above here. Private thread thread private boolean running equals false if running return uh, else i don't really need the else statement uh this dot thread equals new thread this this dot thread dot start so we'll do this dot running equals true uh public void run okay i'll put this below this just for simplicity sake uh, actually, I'm going to change this to, uh, change it back to my normal theme, because, ah, hurts my eyes after going, going from it, <laughs> or from, uh, from it being black to white really fast. Uh, let's see, do if not running, return, try, uh, this dot thread dot join, catch, exception. E, e dot print the stack trace. All right, so while running, I still don't have the game loop down, so I'm just gonna use um, the thread dot sweep method, which is really uh, stupid. You should never, ever, ever do that. And do tick and render. All right, so private void tick. Private void render. So inside of these, we can do if this if uh oh no buffer strategy bs equals this I get buffer strategy if bs equals null this dot create buffer strategy three return. We'll do graphics 2D, D2 equals graphics 2D, um, bs.get draw graphics, uh, then do g2.draw, no, g2.setColor. It's so hard, it's so crappy to use this or to, to redo all this because I actually have, like, I have my standards library and it does all this for me, so it kind of sucks that the go back to this, but it does give me experience, I guess. Uh, fill rec, zero, zero. 
this dot window dot width this dot window dot height all right so and we'll do g2 dot dispose bs dot show all right and we'll go ahead and make the window in canvas private j frame frame uh, private it width private and height public uh, window int width and height string title game game ask well for this instance I'll just do that and then we can do private string title even though we won't actually be mutating the title unlike my actual library which does mutate them uh, and we really don't even have an instance access to the JFrame either, but we'll do it just because this not frame dot set uh set size uh width height dot dot frame dot set default close operation three this dot frame dot add game frame dot set visible true this dot frame dot set recitable faults this dot frame dot set let's see there's some there's something else I need, I usually do the default close operation uh, I would normally do um the max the maximum size the minimum size and the preferred size but I looked it up and said that's actually not something that you should do so I guess we'll uh, keep it like that. I think this is all you do, actually. Oh, I, mean, I should probably assign these. This dot width equals width. This dot height equals. To be actually, we only need to do that to be honest with you, because we can just do public and width, public and height. You have, I have to do it like this. I can't do get width and get height because that will actually return the width and height of the of the canvas object, which we don't actually want. Um, because since I'm extending canvas, I will have to, I'd have to override it, and it doesn't like to play nicely with that. So let's just do this dot frame dot get width. What frame dot get width? Okay. Frame get height. What? What's wrong with you? Oh, <laughs> what's wrong? Yeah, I'm tired. Return. I was like, what? Alright. We don't need the title either. Alright, so now we need to import canvas. Uh, surround this by try catch. Let's see. Uh, and then after this, I guess we can call, or once it's not running, we can call this.stop. Well, yeah, this.stop. Um,. And then in this we can do this dot running equals faults system dot exit zero. So that means it will exit on a clean state. So now I guess we can go and create the paddle. Uh, make it implement or extends key listener. Uh, actually, we'll need to make this a public static final actually wait no we didn't make it final uh my key listener oh that doesn't want to work what great client oh <laughs> implements i'm retarded uh let's see actually what we'll need to do first is do um a game object. <clears throat> Actually, we'll just use my standard public class standard game object. Abstract. We'll just make it the way I do. It may not have everything in there, but whatever. Public double x, public double y, public double public int width, public int height, public standard id id. Oh, I'll have to make that too. Uh, I guess I'll move those to the standards actually. Um, dot Josh Correct. Standards. What? 
Oh, I'm creating a class. I meant to make a package. Com Joshua class um, break breaker no standards. I guess we can refactor this and then make it uh make it break breaker. There. All right. So in here we can move standard game object into here. Make an enum for the IDs. Crap, mess it up. <laughs> uh, ID. And then compilation unit will make it a uh, player ball brick. We're not gonna have any power ups or anything in here just because I don't wanna overcomplicate it. Public standard game object double X double Y. Actually, yeah, double X double Y standard ID ID. This dot X equals X, this dot Y equals Y, this dot width. Oh, wait, no. We can assign that whenever. Uh, this dot ID equals ID. Uh, now we need to make a public rectangle. Get bounds. Turn new rectangle X, Y width height. Cast all these to an int. Great. Uh, X, Y width height. Um, we don't need to make any getters or setters because all these are public. Um, this needs to extend to keep, or extend standard game object. I forgot I have my sound effects in the, or on the speaker. There we go. Turn it down just in case anything blares at me. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, XYD. This dot width equals 100, this dot height equals 20. I'll have to experiment with that, that's fine. Public void tick, public void render graphics 2D G2, G2 dot fill rect, this dot x, this dot y, this dot width, this dot height. Again, cast out these to an int. I'll have to be doing that a lot, unfortunately. Let's see, G2 dot set color, color by red. There we go. Uh, let's see, we'll have to implement all these key listeners. Uh, do key press, key released. I'm not going to make a key handler, and I'm not going to use the one that my friend Andrew made. So we'll have to do switch key, or switch e dot gig. Yeah, uh, get key code. Case key event dot vk left. It's not built. Oh, I need, uh, I need velocity, that's right. I was forgetting something. Public double bell x, public double bell y. Uh, let's not bell x equals mega five. Break. Case key event dot bk. Right. Bell x equals five. I'll, I'll make it ten because you gotta move kind of fast. Uh, I won't make a default case because no. For this situation, you wouldn't want to do that. Make them zero. Uh, there we go. For when you, I mean, if you're, uh, if you let go of them, they'll have to be zero. Or the velocity will have to be zero. And there's no up and down case for this entity. And we'll need to pass in a, a handler, actually. So, um, the handler will basically, um, tick everything and we'll call it a standard handler as well. Even though these aren't as nearly as elaborate as the handler that I actually wrote and the standard collision handler that made my friend wrote. Uh, sh. It's not sh equals that, uh, equals handler. Uh, let's go ahead and make that real quick. Standard handler. Public. Array list. Actually, this means private. Private. Array list. Into standard. Game object entities public standard handler. Apparently, I'm trying to create a method within the braces that's called a callback function, and we can't do that. Is that entities equals new array list of standard game objects? Let's see, control shift though. Go. 
What next? Uh, public void tick. This will loop through them all. Public void render graphics to the V2. Uh, system dot for what's the for each method? For each is it arrays dot for each arrays dot for mask like I know there's a, there's a method that you can do um in Java eight that will allow you to just call like a method and then it will do an enhanced for loop on your entire list which is pretty cool so for standard game object object uh, entities do this I could do a regular for loop and I probably should actually so yeah for it I equal zero I right, less than entities dot size I plus plus uh, entities I get I dot tick oh, I need it I need to make that uh, this method abstract inside of that class uh, do dot render g2 Let's go and start game object. Public abstract void tick. Public abstract void render graphics to dg2. Control shift though. Yeah. Uh, it should be fixed. Control shift though. Uh, public void add entity. Public void remove entity. Uh, Third, name object object, so entities I add object, standard game object object. Uh, we'll need to do four and I equal zero as less than two plus size plus plus. Uh, if object equals entities I get I. Entities dot remove i do i minus minus. All right, so though there we go. Uh, let's see. Dot x plus equals bell x. Ah, I was hoping I could do all this in one clean shot. Should have known better. Sorry about that. Uh, plus equals this dot bell y. Actually, we should probably do that at the very end of it, just being serious. So, if this dot x is, is less than zero, or this dot, actually in this case, uh, this dot x equals zero, if this dot x is greater than, uh, is greater than, game dot window dot width minus this dot width and do this dot x equals game dot window dot width minus this dot width do the same thing for the height uh this just handles collision detection essentially if you had no idea what this was or what this was doing i guess dot height dot window dot height that should work I and mean, I haven't even tested this once like I'm gonna see if this actually works like when I just like spawn this in all right so that should work actually uh, let's go ahead and make the ball actually uh, we'll make the paddle I guess yeah we'll make it red we'll make the ball standard game object Public ball double x double y standard id id super x y id this dot width equals 20 this dot height equals 20 why did that <laughs> that was weird it had double um double import all right uh this oh wait wait, wait. hold on we gotta do now oh, come on this dot x equal plus equals bell x this dot y we don't even need that actually we can just do plus that there we go all right uh in this case we can do if this dot x is less than zero or this dot x is greater than or equal to 
game dot window. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, it's the image observer. Oh. Okay. Game dot window dot width. This dot x equals negative this dot x and do do the opposite dot window uh, height that that da, 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 da. this dot x plus equals x or dot x. I know I don't have to do the this, but I do it because. I want to know what superclass my stuff is coming from. So this dot bell x equals four dot bell x bell y equals negative four. All right. So then in handler we can do a collision loop. I guess. Well, uh, we'll do if this dot entities dot get i dot id equals standard id dot player. For, and this is this is a terrible way to do this, but just for simplistic sake, J plus plus if entities dot get J the ID equals standard ID dot ball collision between player and ball uh, if entities dot that get j action would be dot i get bounds dot intersects entities I get j dot get bounds uh, entities I get j dot fail y equals entities get j dot fail y but we will negate it and then at the very end we will do dot entities dot get i dot tick. All right, so let's actually see if that works. I doubt it will, but we will try. Uh, like a standard handler, private standard handler sh. This dot sh new standard handler. No constructor. Let's see, private. Paddle, paddle, paddle equals new, paddle, where did I put this, about seven, no, about three hundred to seven sixty, yeah, that's good, whoa, what was that, control <laughs> shift O, why is that not working, oh, I need the ID, what, why do I need to pass it the ID, we already know what the ID is, X Y standard ID dot player. Probably do the same thing for ball too. Yep. <laughs> Crap. Uh, standard ID dot ball. We don't need to pass it the ID because we already know the ID. And this dot sh. This dot ball equals new ball. We're already gonna have one ball for this instance just because I don't. I'm um, yeah. <laughs> uh, 380, 380. This dot sh. To be fair, do we need to do we need to pass it that? Do we even need that? Like, oh yeah, there yeah, there really is no instance, there really is no reason to have that. Standard handler sh for a brick. We will need to pass in the handler, but well, will we? Probably not. Actually, I don't know. Uh, to be fair, I guess we I do need to. Public void move standard game object object. Let's make this simple. This dot entity dot remove object. There we go. All right. So mm, I guess I could do like if I just if I pass in the handler, I'll do this dot sh dot add entity this, and I can do the same thing for this. This dot sh. Oh, sh dot add entity this. What? Oh, private <laughs> ball ball. And then we need to also do this dot 
uh, key listener than paddle. To be fair, do I need to make an instance of ball? I don't know. Uh, what I will do actually first off is do uh, this dot request focus, and then I think that would work. Let's see. Da. <laughs> Oh, I'm retarded. I am stupid. Uh, yeah, I know why it's not working. This .sh dot tick, and do this dot sh dot render gt. And I also I knew I knew what I was doing wrong. It's uh this dot frame dot set location set location relative to null. That will center it. There we go. I didn't even call the ball. Great. Uh, I didn't even draw the ball. Hmm. I'm even better. Set color, color dot blue. Blue, not black. Black on black would not work. Do two dot. Fill oval. Int x. Int y. Int this dot width. Int this dot. That work. Hey, there we go. And the key listener works amazing. So yeah, everything. D what? What? Hold on, something. Something was being weird there. Oh, does oh because um. Oh, okay, okay. Minus this dot width, and then do minus this dot height. Yeah, okay. And that'll create kind of weird results, because it's just... It's only bouncing off, like, yeah. What? 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 Hold on, hold on, man. That's weird. Why does it do that? If the... Huh? <laughs> uh... Hmm. What? Ah, screw it. Whatever. Alright, time to make level. Uh, we'll make it very awesome. Like, so, what we're going to do is every time we have a level, we're going to load in the data for it. So, string level. And do, oh lord, private scanner 5 pools. Null. I try this dot file. Equals new scanner, new file level path. I haven't done file IO in a while. IO exception E. Yeah. Well like this prop this type of IO I guess. I do IO a lot, but this type of IO. Mm, for int I equals zero I is less than Oh Lord, Lord, oh Lord. Um let's go ahead and make a brick first actually. So brick extends Ah, uh, it's a standard game object. Public void. On a public brick. Double x, double y. Super x, y, standard id, dot, brick. No, brick. <coughs> there we go. So that width equals, make it 80, this dot height equals 20. That's good. Uh, public void tick, public void render, graphics 2 d g2, g2 dot, that color, color dot, <clears throat> actually this will be where we pass the value, private int val, color val, actually we will need to pass in the int val switch val uh case val equals we'll do zeros for a space so zero uh let's see actually zero will be zero x zero 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 case val equals I do the comparison, not the assignment. Oh, um, uh, 
Lord, I'm, I forgot how to do a, a switch case block. Case one, this will be red zero X. Or no, vow equals then break. Vow equals zero X FF zero 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 break case two. Vow equals this will be blue zero X F zero 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 FF break case three. Vow equals this will be green zero X FF no, zero zero FF zero zero. And we'll only have those few colors. And so basically, if it's zero, it'll be nothing. If it's one, two, or three, it'll be red, be red, green, or blue. Red, green, blue. No, red, blue, green. What? What's wrong with you? Oh, wait, does that have to be a color? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess you can. Yeah, because um, the color just corresponds to a value. So, I don't know if this will work, though, because if you pass in an integer, you would have to uh, shift it by 16 and then do val equals ff000. That might work. That might. I don't know if you'd have to bit shift it. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. So... Take doesn't need to do anything. Um, p2 dot fill ret int x int y int width int height. I'm getting tired of typing this. So, hi, uh, i is less than 8, i plus plus, x plus equals 80. And every time we go through, we'll initialize x to equal 80 again. X equals or zero again, excuse me. Um, nested for loop int j equals zero, j is less than five, j plus plus. Uh, we'll need to pass in the brick at, or the handler actually, standard handler sh, private, actually, do we need to store it? I don't think we do actually, we'll try it. Uh, sh dot add entity new brick. Uh, we'll need to start this actually at about there. New brick. Uh, X, Y, then get the, this dot file dot next int. That's the whole reason I have that. So I'll show you basically how to do this in a minute. Uh, int Y equals zero. Then we can do, uh, well actually, technically, plus equals 80, because as the for loop goes, the y will have to increase, y plus equals 20, and then this will have to be blanked out. So every time this goes through, we can initialize x equals 0, and to x equals 0, or no, int x equals zero, to y equals, uh, we'll make it zero to start off with. So then the first time passed, uh, it'll be 20. Oh, I don't know. Uh, then we'll have to reinitialize it to here. To be fair, this will need to be only five, and then this will need to be eight, because it goes horizontal, right? So x, y plus equals 20. Semicolon have five rows, eight columns. So this dot file dot next int. There we go. Uh, if this works, I will be very surprised. Um, well, I guess we'll actually need to make a folder for it. Uh, breaker uh, resources. Out of here, make a new folder levels. Make a test level, for instance, uh, level one dot text. We'll do now. Let's bring this over here. Uh, one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero 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 two 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 zero 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 two 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 zero 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 one 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 three three one zero zero and then one two three 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 two one 
So that'll be level that'll be level one. And if this works, I will be very surprised. Um let's see. I think that's it actually, because Y will be reinitialized every time. So on the first pass, it'll be twenty, then eighty. 80, 60, 40, 220. We'll test it out. Uh, the only problem is actually we'll need to do file.next line at the very end of this. File.next line. Make it go to the next one, I think. Uh, private level. Level. We're going to have one just because I'm tired. The stuff level equals new. Level resources levels level one dot text and just to know this source code will be in the description so yeah uh put it up on GitHub this out of search will that work will that really work da should have known no such element exception should have known ah <sighs> crap uh. We'll do actually we can do int x equals this dot file dot next. Int. Oh, 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 oh. Got it. String line sh string nums. With the read in line by line. That's right. String. I've done this before. String line equals file dot next line. Okay. Alright, so then we'll do this dot file no sorry uh line dot car at i that'll work yeah okay we don't even need to have that because okay that's not supposed to happen uh line dot car at i crap <laughs> uh well we get the bricks in that's for sure um, my OCD is killing me. Let's fix this to about 700. Much better. That's killing me right there like when it does that. So we'll fix that later. Uh, why? Why, why, why? Uh, this should be fixing it. Red, blue, green, right? Should be red at first. And, and uh, none. And then, well, because every brick is different, right? Private int val, private color, color. Do you want to do it the lazy way? Uh, return. You can't even do a return statement from there. Oh, can you? Can you really return from a constructor? I did not know you could do that. This dot color equals color dot red. Then color dot blue. Then we'll do color dot green. We'll do this dot color. Nope. Crap. <laughs> why? Uh. Why? 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 Uh, hmm. Case one, then break, break, break. Okay. And then we'll do print line, just dot color. Null. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. That's printing out to be null, and I don't know why. Is it because, is it because something val is val, maybe? Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on a minute. Let's... Okay, well, when we get out of this, we'll do system.exit0. Okay. Oh, 49, 50, and 51? What? Why is it printing that out? That's weird. Now, I didn't see new block, 49, 50, 51. I'm printing out the, I'm printing out val. Whatever's getting passed in. Oh, it's because... Oh, I'm stupid. I, th I think I'm stupid. I think. 
<laughs> because I'm passing in I'm passing it in as a character. So I'll have no. <laughs> Crap. Uh hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well then. I am perplexed. I genuinely am. Ah, uh, Lord, it's gonna take me a minute. <laughs> okay, well, let me let me read this out line by line. So at the end of this, I'll oh, this is not a print line. Line. Okay, let me do. Let me do this. Integer dot parse int line dot substring i i plus one. Oh, is it because it's J? That's it, yeah, that's it. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. It's line dot car at J. Right? No. What? 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 Why is that? Why is that printing out that? Because something that's getting passed in is a character, so I'll have to do integer dot parse uh, line dot substring j j plus one. I feel like that would work, but I also... F oh! Now it works! Okay. So yeah, I think I think what was happening was it was getting passed in the, uh, the character value of it instead of the actual... Um, the value itself. But... Oh. Let's say what? <laughs> there we go! It looks all jagged up, but that's... Well, it's not really what I asked it to do. Is that what I asked it to print out? No, it's not. <laughs> Crap. Uh, maybe I need some spaces in there. Yeah, let's do some spaces. Uh, y plus equals make it 25. Line, line, ah, yep. Crap. Uh, what? What, 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 what? If color equals null return. There we go, that's more like it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, actually what we could do is, if, uh, if integer.parse int line.substring j, j plus 1 does not equal 0, does not equal 0, add it. So then, there's no way it will ever be that. Da! Ah! It doesn't account for it doesn't account for spaces. Crap! Doing that doesn't account for spaces. Hmm. Because I, 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 I only want to add a brick if there's nothing, if there's not a zero, like, if there's a zero there, you can still add the space. Oh, it's because every, yeah, I get it, I get it. X plus equals 80. Got it. Then we can test it. That should work. Ah, what? What? Oh. <laughs> Laura says, there we go. Much better, much better. Okay. I got everything now. So, now for the collision. Yay! Not really. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any fancy particle effects or anything. I'm just going to be adding a score, and yeah, pretty much that's going to be it. Uh, if the equals player, if the ball... 
if entities equals ball uh, grabs the player and down here we'll do grabs the ball if entities get i dot id equals standard id dot ball for int j equals zero j is less than entities dot size j plus plus if entities dot get i dot get bounds dot intersects entities dot get j dot get bounds uh, I'm going to do if entities dot get j dot get no, just the ID equals standard ID dot brick. Need to envelop everything around that. There we go. <sighs> Lord, so my eyes. Gotta wrap this up pretty quick. Mm. Uh, we'll do a public static int g score equals zero. And we'll display that in a minute. Uh, private font this is going to be so disorganized i'm telling you this dot font equals new font uh arial font true type font and then 30f oh yeah it's just 30. yeah all right uh entities dot get j entities dot remove J, J minus minus entities dot get I dot dot vel x no dot vel y equals entities dot get I dot vel y. Okay. Uh, and then that'll be it for that part. This works, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, hey, it does work. Yeah. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Uh, but I don't know why that's doing that, though. Like, why is it... On the on the right side, why is it saying... Dot this, dot width, dot this, dot width. And then... The window dot. Oh, oh. I knew it had to be something stupid like that, yeah. Mm. Alright, that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh then we can do game dot score plus equals a hundred. Then we can draw the score. Let's see, where is game? There it is. Then we'll do we'll draw this above everything. Or above the handler at least. Actually no. Yeah. Uh G2 dot set color, color dot yellow. Actually, no, make it white for simplistic sake. G2 dot draw string score plus this dot score. Should be accessing it in a static way, but that's fine. 20 and 45. Game. So stop yelling at me. Set font, this dot font. Alright, since it's up there, we'll put it all the way down at the bottom. Actually, no, but we can't do that. Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, I guess we can just do this maybe, like 65. <laughs> ah, what? What? Oh. There we go. Yeah, well, yeah, we can do that. All right, and then we can do for the ball. If it goes down below the barrier, if this dot y does mm, just just that condition, we don't need to check for the height because we don't need to account for that. So we'll do system exit zero. But before that we'll do a J option pane dot show message dialog null you lost your score was 
this or no game dot store. All right. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simplistic. I'll do a win condition here in a minute. You lost your score with that. All right, cool. To be fair, this would be something that I could like do for my final project for AP Computer Science. Uh, not harping on it though. This is a pretty hard project for a beginner. I'll say that much. Mm, get rid of the comments because we don't need those in there. Get rid of the needless space. Keep this space though, just because I don't want it to be too, like. I don't know. Uh, we don't need the value. What do we not need in here? Or something probably. Uh, yeah, we don't even need that. All right, so remove the ball because it just gets added in automatically anyway. Generate the ID. Uh, go back one more. Uh. What else? What else? Oh yeah, for a uh, complete level. Uh, we can do something like just constantly keep counting the if sh dot. Ah, uh, hmm. I guess we'll do like. Where am I going? Where am I going? Uh. <laughs> private int brick count zero. Make it public. Uh, then every time we do this, we'll do this dot brick count plus plus. Now we have a way of accessing it. So then what we can do is if this actually no, we'll have to do this inside of SH. Uh do if actually what we'll have to do is um sys public void count bricks. And and determine when. <laughs> uh four and i equals zero i is less than entities dot size i plus plus. If entities dot get i dot id full standard id dot brick uh int i plus brick plus plus what one do equals zero public we'll make it a boolean boolean count bricks and determine when brick plus plus to be fair do we even need the um uh Return brick equals zero. To be fair, we don't even need that, uh, the level count of the thing. So, uh, we'll do, we'll do this first. We'll do if this dot count person determine when the option pane dot show message dialog null congrats you won system dot exit zero. So we can play through it real quick, just see if it wins or lets us win actually. Do 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 do. Just make a problem sound effects. <laughs> boop 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 boop. <laughs> uh. Boop. Bing bing. Boop. Bing bing. Bing bing. We're gonna be a while <laughs> oh lord no no don't no don't get stuck in a corner like that i hate it when it does that because yeah uh ah oh, come on ah this is like the real uh this is like real breakout you hate the game oh come on and you can't control the paddle either like i don't have that feature in because that deals with, like trigonometry and stuff there we go congrats you won there we go all right so the game is done all right, so yeah, that's pretty much it actually. <laughs> uh, generate the ID. All right, well, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I liked it. 
Let's, let's just see how much. Well, nah, I'll test it off camera. Alright, so hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. This was Breakout or Brick Breaker very fast in Java. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.